We're going to take a look at split toning. Um, it's an interesting uh, overlay. So I'm going to take a look at a, a couple of different examples applied to different different images and what, what you can do with it. So first of all, we can just look at a woodland scene here. And uh, we're going to add the adjustment split toning. And first of all, what is it? Um, well, it's a means of introducing a different hue into the highlights and into the shadows and it can give your photo uh, a completely different feel. So here for an example, uh, in the highlights I'm going to add a sort of dark yellow um, hue and as I increase the saturation you should see the sky adding some extra yellow to the sky. So let's uh, just turn it off and on. And you can see it around this area here. But to complement that, in the shadows I'm going to add a blue. And as I turn up the shadows, you can see the way that's affecting the greens. And finally, what I can do is change the balance between the highlight hue and the shadow hue. So I can totally change the way this woodland scene looks. Now that's just one example. If we move um, onto this deer we can do a similar thing. Let's uh, just go back to where I started and we can add split toning. Now again here, I'm going to just go into the little bit of the greens here in the highlights and as you see as I move that up we're getting much more a greenish colour down the bottom. I might decide to drop that back down to a yellow and in the background I'll do a similar thing. I'll, I'll bring it up into the blues and if you watch the background which is dark you'll see it starting to get that blue hue. And again, finally, I can, I can balance that out. So, rather extreme. But if I, if I bring the blues in, that gives it more of a morning feel, just as the sun's coming up. Now, obviously, once I've set that, I can actually change the opacity and bring down the effect and just bring it back up until I feel that it's given me the look and feel I want. So it's a very useful technique just to change the balance of the colour in the photo. Uh, and we'll go to one final example, uh, more of a, an action scene here. And again, we just add um, the split toning. And as you can see, uh, quite often I've, I've been using the same sort of colours, but that's my particular preference. Obviously, you can use anything, anything you like. Again, let's just increase the saturation on the highlights. And if we bring the blues in, you can totally change the feel of the photo. So if we look at that before and after, you're getting uh, a much more dramatic image by adding the split toning in. And we can move the balance and find which one we want to use. And then, of course, change the opacity. We can also change the blend mode here as well. And you'll get different, different types of effect. Um, you can try screen, um, overlay, soft light. Soft light is quite nice. And again, just adjust it to, to your own taste. So, a very simple way of adding colour into the highlights and the shadows of your image to make it more dramatic. Thank you.